The first thing you think when you see it is you say that's an elephant. The second thing you think is it's a bit magical. So the reason I brought elephants back to the circus is for me they are the classic, grandest and most overwhelmingly amazing creatures that you'd ever see uh, in a circus show. Back in the turn of the century, animals were a huge part of the circus. So this was a way that I could bring back the grandeur of having the largest ever African elephant in a show. For me, it was really about the emotion and bringing these animals to life on stage. I went and saw a war horse many, many years ago and was absolutely blown away by the artistry. We've taken a lot of inspiration from the war horse puppets and the sculpture and the art of designing the puppet is about creating something that triggers those, those recognitions in the audience. It's got to feel like an elephant more than it's got to look like an elephant. We've got two um, puppet elephants here, a, a mother and a, and a child, and they're totally different. <laughs> The mum and the baby elephant are just so beautiful and the relationship is really just so warming for everybody. That job of imagining an elephant happens somewhere between the puppeteers on stage and the audience in the auditorium. The first thing you think when you see it is you say that's an elephant. The second thing you think is it's a bit magical.